Hey there quilty friends, it's Carolina Moore, your favorite sewing and quilting YouTuber, and today we're doing day five of the mini quilt advent. If you need details about this, everything is down in the description, all the links that you need. Um, but for those of you joining along, get out your envelope, open it up, because we're going to be doing day five. Let's get started. Okay, we're going to take the, um, the masking off of our templates here. There we go. Here we go. And here we go. All right. Oi! Any scratches on it, I know that I did it because I'm the one who's dropping it after it's been unmasked. Okay, today's template is a three inch diamond. This is a super fun shape. We need to cut two each from two different fabrics. So I pulled out this print again, I think it's super fun, and I pulled out this um, kind of more, um, it reads a little more solid. So something a little wild and something a little solid. Now I could, let's see. Whew, lots of options here. Let me pull out just this one. Hmm. I could feature. I could feature her. All right. I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm actually gonna swap out the fabric. I was eyeing that angel fabric instead, so let's go ahead and swap this out for the angel fabric. <sighs> okay, that was a good choice. Um, let me flip this around to see if I can maybe make less Swiss cheese quite so much out of this fabric. And let's see. Um, I like this shape right here. I'm cutting off the heads and the heads, but I think I'm okay with that because I really like this shape right here. Ooh, no. There we go. That one. Okay. Now it's too close to the selvage here, so I can't cut there, but I can cut here. And I'm lining up all these seam lines. So these ones are right between those little flowers and these ones are between these flowers. And that's going to give like a really fun design, I think. I hope, fingers crossed, because we're cutting fabric. Make sure that you cut beyond your template so that you're cutting um, all the way around and that you don't leave any threads behind. If you do, just trim those with a pair of scissors. Um, not a big deal, but it's always nice if we can get it the first time. Did I? Yes, I did. There's my fussy cut. Okay, I love that. All right, so we're going to do another one just like that. Now here are some tips and tricks for fussy cutting if you want to fussy cut a repeat over and over again. You can take your template and put it on here and then use a either wet erase, so it's like a visa vis marker to mark some of these spots on here. Um, or you can actually use a Sharpie, so um, a permanent marker on these templates. You do want to test them on any of your templates before you do that, but it should come off with an alcohol wipe. So a fine line Sharpie can also give you these kinds of marks so that you can um, line things up exactly if you want to line things up exactly again. Okay, but this fabric had some pretty good reference points for me. So it was these two little white flowers here and it was between there and between there. So I think that's gonna be pretty good. And since these aren't going next to each other or spinning for like a repeat, then um, this will be fine. Did I do it? Yes, okay, got that cut. All right, and so now we're going to do our red fabric. This one is much easier. Um, 
If I want, I could actually fold this fabric in half and just cut two. So let's go ahead and do that so you see what that's like. I'm just gonna fold it in half and we can cut two at the same time. When you're not worried about fussy cutting, you can cut a little faster, a little more efficiently. So let's bring that in here. And cut two at the same time. Perfect. So now we can lay out our block. Um, in the past, I've followed the pattern exactly with like red, green, red, like where the red is, I've done red and where the green is, I've done green. Didn't do that this time. So I can decide, do I want my reds and my greens like this? Cause this is actually in the pattern shows as a light pink. Um, or do I like it better like this? They feel about the same to me. I felt like the first one like a little better. So I'm gonna go with that first one. Okay, so we're gonna sew these into rows and your rows can be sewn together one of two ways. Either you can sew the row, this row and this row and then sew them together, or you can sew this row and this row and then sew them together. This is how it's done in the pattern. So I'm gonna keep to the way that it's done in the pattern, but know that your rows can go either direction. Just like when putting a quilt together and putting blocks together, you can sew them in rows and then sew the rows together, or you can sew them in columns and sew the columns together, depending on what you're trying to work on as you get it all put together. Okay, so we're gonna do it the way it's in the pattern. And this, because it's the first time we're working with small diamonds, means that we are going to have these points sticking out. Now, how do we know how much those points need to be sticking out? Well, we can take our template and those points should be sticking out a quarter inch. So I'm using this quarter inch seam line and lining it up there. And I can't see it lined up here, but I'm going to assume that if it's lined up there, it's lined up here and that should be good. Okay. So I'm going to then take this without shifting to my sewing machine. And if this is working right, then my stitches should start and end right where those fabrics be together. And I'll show you that in just a second. Let me cut my threads beginning and end. Okay. So see how my stitches and I have a little bit of thread right there. Come here. All right. She doesn't want to go away because she's from the other side. There we go. Okay. So you can see that my stitching starts right where this V happens and ends right where this V happens. So that should be my perfect quarter inch. I'm going to go ahead and press this open. You can press these to the side. You're going to have a lot less bulk if you press open. I'm often a side presser, but for these blocks, I'm going to be an open presser for diamonds. We'll just press open. Okay. And how do I know that this is perfect? Well, I mean, look at that. That lines up perfect on those sides. And then also if I take my template and line it back up, I can see that I got that perfect quarter inch because my seam line lines up with that quarter inch line. So these are kind of the ways that we can check our work throughout this process. I'm going to go ahead and cut off my dog ears because I don't need them. There we go. And now I'm just going to do the other one, same way, lining it up. And I can use my template as a guide. Let me know if you've ever used a guide like this to be able to line up your seams. I think it's just a clever way to make sure that before we take it to our sewing machine, we have things where they need to be. And then I also have a guide on my presser foot and that helps me so a perfect quarter inch. This is a Baby Lock Jubilant. Baby Lock obviously has quarter inch um, guide, presser feet with guide, but just about any machine out there, you'll be able to find a quarter inch presser foot with guide. Just um, 
go to your local sewing machine dealer. So look up, for, so in my case, I would go to babylock.com and I would put in my zip code and that would tell me who is my local dealer. And that should be the same for any machine manufacturer. You go to that machine manufacturer, you see who the dealer is, um, and then you can get whatever specialty presser feet you need for your machine. And a quarter inch foot with guide should be a pretty standard one that you have. Definitely want it in your toolbox. Okay, so we've done both of these and now it's time to sew the rows together. So just like before, because we have these angled diamonds, we're gonna line this up and I'm gonna double check. I tend to do a little bit of a big quarter inch. So yeah, I need to bring this down just a little bit. A big quarter inch. And now if I bring this quarter inch right here, that should, I should be able to see that that lines up perfect. It doesn't quite, so I'm gonna double check all right, that looks better. So that's where I want that for my perfect center. If my edges aren't perfect, I'll be able to catch that when I um, sew the blocks together. But if my middle, the further off my middle is from perfect, the more just noticeable it's gonna be. Okay. My edges are a little more off than I'm used to, but let's see how that middle is. See, my middle was off too. Um, I'm going to go ahead and rip these out. Forgot I have my zippy ripper here, so I can rip this out super quick. Oh, so fast. So I've ripped this out. I'm gonna do it again. I'm not gonna check that middle. I'm going to just trust that my quarter inch is good and I'm not gonna shift it off like I did before and trust, okay, let me get this back together. Yes, like that. Okay. Here and here. Double check this with the edge of my ruler. Okay. We're gonna give this another go. There is another method with a pin that you can use. We'll sh I'll show you that in a future video. Um, all right, that should be closer. So there is a way that you can kind of pin it to get your points to line up. Okay, let's check it. Oh, okay, that time it was perfect. I should have just trusted in my quarter inch. Um, let me cut my rest of my threads because I really wanted to check that and of course wasn't cutting my threads because checking points is more important. Um, and I will open this up. And press. There we go. Okay, so now I can cut all my dog ears. Um, I can trim this up with my big day one template, the six inch diamond. You can double check it with a six inch diamond too to see how we did. That looks pretty good. All right, friends, that's our day five block complete. It turned out so good. I'm so excited about this block. I love how it came out. We'll put it with all its friends up here. I'll just put this one on this side right here. And that puts us through day five. Make sure that you like this video, that you comment, letting me know where you're at. I love seeing your comments and seeing your progress. And subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Uh, friends, I will see you right here tomorrow for day six. Bye for now.